What's up, everybody? Nathaniel Morton here with NathanielMorton.com, helping you get bigger, stronger, faster, and more explosive. Before I get into this video, I want to let you know, as always, that if you comment jump, J-U-M-P, down below in the comment section and you like this video, I will send you a free body weight vertical jump training program that you can use to increase your vertical jump. So like the video, comment jump down below, and I will send that over to you. Within today's video, I'm going to give you a vertical jump training workout using half weight training and half plyometrics that you can take to the gym with you and use to increase your own vertical jump and jump higher. Now, I have personally used this exact workout. I've used the same exact exercises on my vertical jump journey to take myself to the point where I can dunk easily. I can dunk with two hands. I can throw myself alley-oops, everything of the sort all the fun stuff and you can do the same by taking this workout to the gym with you and doing it twice per week with at least two days rest in between so let's get into it what I'm doing right here is I am taking amino energy as you saw it is 5 55 in the morning I like to do my workouts really early about 5 a.m. normally I don't care when you do your workouts I don't care um, where you do your workouts just make sure you get it done but for me I do it early so I take amino energy links for amino energy and everything else that I use all my programs all the supplements that I use all the um, equipment that I use will be linked down below in the description in case you are interested in that but um, so I took my pre-workout and I'm going to show you my full warm-up as well as my full workout so what I what I do first is I get on the exercise bike and I just pedal slowly to warm up my knees um, I do that for 10 minutes at about 5 to 10 resistance um, so that's the exercise bike then I get a foam roller and all I do is I quickly foam roll the upper part of my leg. So my quads, my hamstrings, my IT band, and my inner thigh. So that I only do this for about five minutes. Sometimes if I'm really sore, I'll roll out my lower back, maybe my calves. But normally it's just the upper part of my leg. Then what you see me doing here is the couch stretch. This is by far my favorite stretch and by far the most important stretch that you need to be doing when you are on your vertical jump journey. So what what I did was 60 seconds each leg for the couch stretch and I did that two times so a total of 120 seconds each leg for the couch stretch then part of my warm-up is also I grabbed this um, perform better mini band I put it around my legs and I do glute bridges with a hip abduction at the top and that I do for three sets of 15 reps today I actually only did it for two sets of 15 reps because I was just warming up this is also great if you if you have any pain and discomfort in your knees you need to be doing these exercises with the mini band so I did glute bridges with a hip abduction two sets of 15 then I did clams two sets of 15 then I did monster walks for two sets of 10 steps forward and two step and 10 steps backwards so one set is 10 steps forward and 10 steps backwards then I take a rest and then I do that again the last thing is lateral shuffles for 10 steps in one direction and then 10 steps in another direction. Now guys, listen, this is a warm up, but this is also pretty much part of the workout. Okay. This is going to help you become more athletic. It's going to work your glute medius, which if you're an athlete is extremely, extremely important. So do not neglect these exercises. They make you more athletic. They make you stronger. They make you quicker. Um, they make you, they, they work on your stabilizers. They also help your knees with any pain and discomfort. And they also get you warmed up for what you're about to do. Okay. So after the mini band exercises, I grab this purple resistance band and I do an Achilles stretch and a hip stretch. And I mean a groin stretch. So this is stretching my Achilles and my groin at the same time. I always do the stretch if I'm going to do squats. So today I'm doing squats. Um, so that is what I do. Then I grab this is all this is all part of my warm up, guys. This is still my warm up. And I do I did um, a 40 pound dumbbell goblet squats. I did two sets of 10 goblet squats, just working on. Um, 
greasing the groove. You know, you're about to do squats, so you warm up through that motion using a dumbbell and holding it in front of you, balances you out, it stretches your Achilles, opens up your hips, um, opens up your groin, and is just a really good exercise to do for a warm up. Then, these knee sleeves that you see me using right here, I never squat without knee sleeves. I love these knee sleeves. They are the strong knee sleeves. Once again, link will be down in the description. If you're going to take it seriously and you're serious about squatting and deadlifting and getting bigger, stronger, faster, more explosive, you're going to eventually want knee sleeves once you get up there in weight. So I have the strong knee sleeves. Put them on and I am doing 45 pounds on each side. So it's 135 for a nice little warm up. And um, I do, so here's what we are doing. We do three front squats and then you immediately rack the bar, you put it on your back and you do six back squats. So three front squats and six back squats. Now notice, I am pausing at the bottom and I am exploding on my way up. If you are doing squats, what you want to do is you want to try to so this is for vertical jump. If you're doing squats to, to get bigger or to get stronger or to build your leg muscles, then just do normal squats. Go slow, feel the rep through the motion. But if you are, if you want to increase your vertical jump, I would, if I were you, break up the eccentric in the, in the concentric part of the squat. So when you go down, that is the eccentric portion. So go down slow, pause at the bottom, and explode up as fast as you can. Remember, to increase your vertical jump, you need to increase the strength in your legs. You need to increase the explosiveness in your legs, which what I'm working on that when I explode up from the top. How fast can you move the weights from point A at the bottom to point B up at the top? So go down slow, pause, and then go up fast. Okay, so... Um, this is the weight training workout that we did, the exercise that we did. We only did squats. Um, other than that, we did a lot of jumping today and we did isometric holds. So just so I don't leave you out on anything, two of the exercises that we did that we forgot to record, we did a lunge hold. So you get in a lunge position. It's an isometric exercise. And we held that position for 60 seconds each leg. Then we got in a wall sit. We held the wall sit for 90 seconds. So we did um, two sets of those. So we did the lunge hold, 60 seconds each leg. And then we did wall sits for 90, sec 90 seconds each set. Then we did what you saw, the tiptoe tip squat hold for 60 seconds for two sets. And I'll put the workout on the screen. Um, I'll put everything that I did on the screen for you. Then we did ankle bounces, we're getting into the jumps and the plyometrics. So remember to increase your vertical jump, you have to increase your strength, you have to increase your explosiveness, you have to increase your reactive speed and your reactive strength. So if you just do box jumps, you're going to work on your rate of force development, your explosiveness, but you're not going to work on your reactive speed and your reactive strength. You do that by repeatedly hitting the floor with your feet and jumping back up. That's how you increase your reactive speed and your act your reactive strength. So we did two sets of 50 reps for ankle bounces, two sets of 50 reps for lateral line jumps, two sets of 10 jumps each leg for split leg lunge jumps. Then we did two sets of 15 jumps for squat jumps. And after we did our squat jumps, the last thing that we did was we did ski jumps. So for ski jumps, you're going to start on one foot. You jump all the way over to your other foot. And we did two sets of 10 jumps each leg. So what we did in between these exercises is we rested for 30 seconds. So during these plyometric exercises, you're going to do your set. Then you're going to rest for 30 seconds. Then do another set. Then rest for 30 seconds. So when you're jumping higher, everybody loves to do the weight training, but you have to make sure that you are also jumping. They asked Michael Jordan, how do you jump so high? And he said, 
practice jumping. So plyometrics obviously are extremely important, just as important as weight training when trying to increase your vertical jump. So very quickly, just to go through everything one more time, what we did in the warm up that we did is part of the vertical jump training. It's going to help you get bigger, stronger, faster, and more explosive. So please do yourself a favor. Do not skip any of this. So for the warm up, you're going to do an exercise bike, then you're going to do the foam roller, then you're going to do the couch stretch, then you're going to do the mini band where you do your glute bridges, your clams, your monster walks, and your lateral side steps. Then you're going to do the groin and the Achilles stretch. Then you're going to do goblet squats, and that is your warm up. Now, that warm up will help you get bigger, stronger, faster, more explosive. That warm up is almost a miniature workout in itself. Then for the actual weight training and plyometric workout, you are going to do front squats mixed with back squats for five sets of nine reps. So the nine reps, three of the reps are front squats, six of the reps are back squats. You do that for five sets going as heavy as you can to failure as heavy as you can to failure. So load up the weight with as much as you can do. Make sure that you're going to fail on that last rep of three, that last rep of six of the back squats. And that is your workout. You do that for five sets. Then you go into your isometrics where you do your lunge holds. Then you do your wall sits. Then you do your tiptoe squat holds. Then you go into your plyometrics, all the jumps, which are very important for reactive speed and reactive strength. And you do your ankle bounces, then you do your lateral line jumps, then you do your split leg lunge jumps, then you do your squat jumps, and then you do your ski jumps. So what you did there, you did a warm up for to, to become a better athlete and get loose and get warm, which is almost a workout in itself. Then you do your weight training workout, then you do your isometrics, then you do your plyometric jumps. In this workout, I promise you, you do this two times a week with two days rest in between. This will help you increase your vertical, jump higher, and dunk a basketball. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Nathaniel Morton with NathanielMorton.com. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell if you have not already so that you never miss a video. Like the video and comment jump down below if you want a free bodyweight vertical jump training program. Share this if you think somebody else can get value from the video. And ladies and gentlemen, take action because action is everything. Knowledge is not power. It is only potential power until you take action on what you know. Meaning that now that you see this video, you see what you have to do to increase your vertical jump. You will not get any results unless you take action on it and actually go to the gym and do it. I will see you guys next time. Oh,